You guys. So today's project on Honey is a bit of a fun one. We are, um, well Scott is building the TV box that he brilliantly came up with and really excited to see this project come to life. <laughs> you match the tape measure like perfectly. <laughs> okay, so we um, are planning on putting a TV in our bedroom. However, uh, we really didn't want like the TV to take away from the design aspect of it. Like just having like a big black TV box um, in the bedroom. And so what we decided to do was to recess this um, closet area to which um, we'll put the TV on the inside of the closet with um you know like a tv stand that can pull out twist and, and turn and then that way when we're done with it we can pull it away and we're looking at attaching a like a picture or something with like a hinge uh so that way when we're not using the tv it'll just look like a picture on the wall brilliant i've been trying to be my own guiding star but it appears it hasn't taken me very far I've tried to be my own all in all and everything but it's just been a hard and arduous thing When I look back upon the life I have lived and the choices I have made What do I see? All hell fails when I try to push my way but when I give in You guys, Scott did it. He made it happen. His vision came to life and it looks stellar. I cannot wait to show you guys. So let's check it out. <laughs> so here's a little 24 inch TV. And so that'll mount inside here. Oh, that's perfect. Like that. Remotes will go right under here and stuff. And then it'll be on an arm where we can pull it out and then rotate it. Hey! Like ah, it looks so good! And then put it so back real quick. Do this, do this, and then whoop. And so we'll also have a piece of art to go over it and hinge close. And so it'll just be hidden back there. So cool. It's really cool. It's like insanely creative. You smarty pants. All right, so Scott spent the night last night just doing some finishing coats of the painting on this wall and some behind me. And I'm gonna work today on spackling the ceiling and a few other places that we wanna do a final coat of paint on. And that should be it. Once we get that final coat of paint, the paint should be good to go. We can install the cabinet doors and bada bing, bada boom. So anyways, today, I spackle. The sky is blue, the sun is high, sitting here on my own. I think of you, you're on my mind, you know. To me, that's all right. Green grass on my neighbor's lawn. Maybe I should take a stroll. And to me, that's all right. So tonight is actually our last night sleeping downstairs. Not because we're moving into the bus tomorrow. Hi, Tank. <laughs> um, but because we have a stager coming to get our house ready to list and go on market. And, and so apparently a bedroom in your living room doesn't sell that well. So Weirdos out there. <laughs> Tank's nice. like fully laying on me. Um, so anyways, we're having a little slumber party, us and the pups. Oh, that's why 200,000. <laughs> This is no longer <laughs> And relishing our last night of our unconventional living in our own little traditional house with our bedroom and the living room. Happy Tuesday! Oh, tattoo day! 
Oh, guys, yeah. we are on our way um, and to get a tattoo. Um, Not we. Yeah, we. Well, well we, we are, are on our but way. I am getting one. <laughs> um, it's actually the same artist that did my ship, and so I'm super excited. Uh, this is one that I've been planning for a while, and I really wanted this artist to do it. And um, so she has like books like out like six months in advance. So um, yeah, super excited that today's actually here. When your life's been put on hold for far too long. Okay guys, I got my tattoo done and right now we're actually getting the house uh, ready um, basically to sell as tomorrow we have a stager come in and so just kind of getting it situated so uh, she can kind of see the whole house uh, because obviously it's a little upside down right now with this like downsizing and getting rid of stuff um, but we don't want to get rid of everything as we want the stager to come and tell us like hey keep this because this will go over here and so um, yeah, right now we're just tidying it, but in order to sell the house, we have to move the bed upstairs. So, I'm gonna do that. guys we did it we are now normal people again with a bedroom upstairs instead of in the living room and I'm actually really sad about it <laughs> let me show you the dogs what do you guys think huh Tuck is just happily chewing her toy like a crazy Tang, did you miss upstairs okay so one other crazy thing is this is actually toffee's first time really being upstairs because we've just kept the upstairs section off like we've maybe spent all of 10 minutes just to get a shower upstairs like regularly over the past year and a half two years so toffee has been loving exploring around toffee what do you think hi sweetie Dang, what a good boy <laughs> Good night. Okay, it has been a minute since I picked up the camera, um, but wanted to update you guys. We had the stager come to set up our house because, well, she didn't set up our house, gave us notes on how to set up our house for when it goes on the market in three weeks. So we have a ton going on, tons of moving parts, but I'm gonna take you guys inside the bus to have Scott tell you what he's working on today. So today, putting the bed back together because uh, basically we had to take it all apart um, because the mattress uh, that we built the bed for was eight inches but the actual mattress that we got was ten inches uh, so basically um, it meant that the mattress was too high which means that it would like cover the windows it wouldn't be able to open the, the back cabinet area and so we had to take the whole bed apart uh, lower it by a couple inches and now uh, we're rebuilding it and also added this kind of like face to the bed um, which this will be uh, the drawer underneath and um, it also adds a little subtle honeycomb. I love it like I'm obsessed with this face plate it's so cool. Show them your um, tattoo cover oh. to keep your arm protected. Woo. Brilliant! <laughs> Okay.
Okay guys, so we honestly don't know where we last left you <laughs> as it's been super difficult just kind of picking up the camera, keeping up uh, with everything. Um, as you guys know, a lot is happening. So uh, many things. We are selling our house next month and so we're getting the house ready, which means we're trying to get stuff ready on the bus. Um, also, starting next month, I'm going part-time at work and so just trying to work all that transitions out, um, which will be super exciting because that means more time to work on the bus, which is the goal. A lot more time. Um, also, we uh, finished the bedroom on the bus and... What? Oh yeah. Did we not tell you guys that? <laughs> we finished the bedroom. So, we have one final thing to place in the bedroom, maybe one and a half, and we're gonna show you the grand reveal after that thing is put in place. <laughs> Wish I had my phone. Oh, babe, do you have your phone? <laughs> Carpet. <laughs> Woo. Success! We're done! <laughs> okay guys, we are installing our mattress! And when we say installing, we mean, you know, unboxing for it to... We're excited! And guys, wait... Own the day! Guys, wait until you see the design and pattern on this mattress. It's gonna blow your minds. Yeah, it's the bee's knees, really. Let's go! This is so exciting. Oh, also this mattress has uh, two sides. It's got a firm side and a soft side. So we gotta figure out which side we want it on. Okay. I feel like it's already popping up. mattress so we are so excited we've done a ton of research for the perfect mattress for us this one is great for our dimensions for the size getting a box mattress that inflates um, made it so much easier to get it in this space in the first place but Layla sleep has the honeycomb design throughout which Perfect. we love I love that they have the soft or firm side we're going with the firm side and they're actually rated the best mattress for people with chronic back pain or different issues, which is 100% me. And so um, they're great for side sleepers, like all sleepers, um, and people who have different conditions that I have. And so like, we're really excited about it. It's like copper infused, it's mildew resistant, like everything, it ticked every box. And so, yeah, welcome to our bedroom. <laughs> we will give you a tour of the bedroom soon. Uh, but we're just going to let this inflate. Um, see, even though it looks like it's inflate, I believe it takes a couple hours for it to fully get its, uh, its memory back. You know? um, and so, yeah, we will catch you guys in a little bit. On the flippity flip. <laughs> <laughs>